Narcissists will truly suffer until the end of their lives if you do these to them. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. The topic of discussion today is this will cause the narcissist to suffer for the rest of their lives. I'd appreciate if you could like, subscribe, and leave a comment with your thoughts. Without further ado, let's dive right in. If you've experienced a breakup with a narcissist, you may have felt that something was off. As you put the puzzle pieces together, your suspicions about their narcissism may become more substantial. If you're researching about this topic, it's likely your intuition is correct. Following a breakup, the narcissist will move on to a new partner, particularly if they initiated the split. They'll likely monitor your social media, eager to see signs of your suffering. They are interested in knowing that you've been impacted by the end of the relationship. Even if you were the one to end things, they'll be curious about your life post-breakup. It is beneficial to block them from your social media, preventing them from seeing any potential signs of your suffering. In social situations post-breakup, you may encounter mutual acquaintances or flying monkeys as they are known. It's best not to discuss your experiences with those who are not fully aware of the situation. You don't want to provide the narcissist with any information about your life. If the narcissist hears about you from mutual acquaintances or sees your name on social media, it may trigger them. They may consider rekindling the relationship, seeing it as an opportunity to manipulate you and cause friction between you and their new partner. This is a glimpse into the workings of a narcissist's mind. Blocking the narcissist from your social media can effectively disrupt their attempts to reconnect or hoover. They may attempt to test your resolve by mentioning that they were in your vicinity or thought of you. However, maintaining no contact and blocking them from your phone can help you resist these attempts. It can be hard, but erasing their pictures and contact details can also be helpful. It's crucial not to blame yourself for the relationship's failure, as this is exactly what the narcissist wants. The narcissist will suffer when you block them and maintain no contact. They won't be able to see or hear you, which will frustrate them. Despite their attempts to move from one source of attention to another, what they truly desire is to keep their options open. I refer to this as the harem garage. Ensure you don't have a metaphorical car parked in their garage, as this only signals to the narcissist that you are susceptible to their manipulations. When you resist their attempts at manipulation, the narcissist will realize that they can't play games with you anymore. This will be hard for them to accept, as their grandiose self-image convinces them that they're superior. The narcissist views life through a grandiose false narrative, and when you don't respond to their attempts at contact, it hits them hard. Remember, when they hoover you, they're not just targeting you. They're sending out a blanket message to everyone in their harem garage. Whoever responds first is the one they'll pursue. If your name doesn't come up in response, they'll note that you're no longer susceptible to their games. The narcissist doesn't respect anyone, especially those who easily fall for their manipulative tactics. Often, they attempt to reconnect for their own gratification, resorting to what I term a blanket hoover call. Those who respond are seen as easy targets for the narcissist's manipulative behaviors. They may make false promises, only to disappear again the next day. They'll continue this pattern until you learn to resist it. Once you go no contact and refuse to partake in their games, they'll be forced to recognize that they no longer have control over you. It's not advisable to leave them unblocked on your social media and pretend you're not suffering. Instead, you should aim to completely erase their existence from your mind. Don't play their games or attempt to show them that you're moving on. You don't want them to have any insight into your life. It's crucial to remember that the love you felt was real, but it was for a person who wasn't genuine. Narcissists are emotionally underdeveloped individuals who ran from their true selves early in life. That doesn't mean they aren't intelligent or adept at manipulation. When I say they're emotionally immature, I'm referring to their inability to handle rejection or criticism and their lack of moral compass. I speak from experience, having worked with many individuals who wonder what the narcissist is thinking or doing. Narcissists only think about you when they're in conflict with another person in their life. They're always looking for multiple sources of attention. Our goal is to spread knowledge about their behaviors and tactics, thereby dismantling their harem garages. 
This knowledge is spreading and starting to have an impact. As we continue to spread awareness about narcissism, both narcissists and empaths are increasing in number. It's a positive development that more people are becoming educated on this subject. It's important to remember that you are worthy and deserving of love. You shouldn't settle for abusive relationships or become a people pleaser due to a negative voice telling you that you're not good enough. Replace that negative voice with a positive one, affirming that you are good, lovable, and deserving of respect. It's important to recognize the red flags in relationships and avoid repeating the same mistakes. Being involved with a narcissist could be a transformative experience that reshapes your life's purpose. It's crucial to understand that everything happens for a reason. When you're in a relationship with a narcissist, they want you to see the world from their perspective. They demand constant praise and want you to align with their interests. If you deviate from this, they may respond with anger. Hence, it's important to distance yourself from such individuals. Narcissists can be destructive, attempting to ruin everything you love. They resort to smear campaigns, triangulation, and gaslighting. It's crucial to recognize these tactics and disengage. Narcissists have a personality, but it's often dry and robotic. They mimic the qualities they envy in others. They desire your self-esteem because they lack it themselves. They're ashamed of their true selves and hide behind a mask constantly seeking to emulate others. Until they undergo intensive therapy and introspection, they will continue to rob identities, smear people, and manipulate others for their own gain. Their ultimate goal is to receive attention, adulation, and validation to feel good about themselves. Donner's comment highlights the shared experiences of many who have dealt with narcissists. They often claim that their abusive behavior isn't unique to their relationship with you. It's wonderful to have such a supportive community where we can discuss these issues openly. Samantha's comment touches upon the inherent dissatisfaction that narcissists feel. Even when they move on to a new partner, they are never truly content. They lack inner peace and happiness, and this continues no matter who they are with. It's crucial to remember that narcissists are essentially emotionally stunted, unable to differentiate between right and wrong genuinely. They mimic the expressions of empathy and love, but they don't truly understand these feelings. If you're currently in a relationship with a narcissist, it's advisable to plan your exit strategy quietly and ensure you're in a safe place when they realize you're gone. Stacy, or Deborah, brings up another important point. Narcissists often return to previous partners when they're in need, whether it's financially or otherwise. They view these individuals as easy targets and will manipulate them to get what they want. It's crucial to distance yourself from such situations. JB's comment warns about the presence of narcissists on dating sites. Even with knowledge about narcissistic behaviors, it's still possible to be deceived, as narcissists are skilled manipulators. It's recommended to be cautious when interacting with potential partners online. The purpose of this discussion and this channel as a whole is to provide knowledge and support to those who have experienced relationships with narcissists. We aim to help individuals heal and avoid becoming targets for narcissists in the future. Indeed, it's ill-advised to believe that your knowledge of narcissists makes you immune to their manipulations. Engaging with them, especially on dating platforms, is akin to playing with fire. They are adept at their game of manipulation and trying to outsmart them could lead to disastrous outcomes. As Dr. Ross mentioned, you don't want to wrestle with a pig, because you'll get muddy, and the pig loves the mud. Kathy's comment highlights the drastic personality changes that narcissists undergo. It's like they become an entirely different person that you have nothing in common with. The perspective of viewing the world in terms of spirits is insightful. The love-bombing phase could be seen as one spirit, and the devaluation phase as another, wreaking havoc on your life. This view aligns with the belief that we're not just battling against physical entities, but also spiritual forces. Understanding narcissism and its prevalence can indeed be life-changing. Knowledge is indeed power, but it's crucial not to become overconfident. Even those well-versed in the traits and tactics of narcissists can still be susceptible to their manipulations. As you gain more knowledge about narcissism, you'll start noticing red flags in people around you. While this can be unsettling, it's also empowering as it helps you identify and avoid potential harm. 
Many individuals come to realize that some of their closest friends don't truly have their best interests at heart, which can be a difficult revelation. This resonates with the scorpion and frog story, often used to illustrate the destructive nature of narcissistic relationships. People often worry about narcissists being happier with new partners, but it's important to remember that narcissists are maladaptive. They're likely to repeat the same abusive patterns with new partners as they did with you. Finding empathetic, genuine individuals is not easy, making it unlikely for narcissists to find their perfect fuel source. Even if they do, they tend to treat these individuals poorly. Being with a narcissist can often result in feeling lonely despite their constant need for attention. They demand all of your attention, but they don't form a bond or attachment with you. They perceive your love merely as attention, not understanding its true essence. Events like the one in Nashville provide an opportunity for empaths to meet and connect with one another. These gatherings create a sense of community and support among those who have experienced similar situations, forming strong bonds of friendship and mutual understanding. Angels Among Us and Soul Sisters comments reflect the supportive nature of this community, and I appreciate that. By sharing our experiences, we can help others navigate their journey with narcissism. Creating content and starting channels can be a powerful way to spread awareness and support. Jason's comment highlights the freedom that comes after leaving a narcissist. It's a difficult journey, but ultimately leads to rediscovery of oneself and living life authentically. Wanda's experience emphasizes the manipulative nature of narcissists. They can meticulously plan their actions, including discards, while maintaining a facade of commitment. They fear being alone and often transition into new relationships before ending the current one to avoid feelings of vulnerability. Their actions are often driven by their fear of exposure and self-hatred. Narcissists often use social media as a tool to manipulate others' perceptions of them. They present an image of happiness with their new partner to discredit their previous partner and validate their actions to their supporters. However, this image is merely a facade, masking their deep-seated self-loathing and insecurity. It's important to stay strong, especially during weekends when feelings of vulnerability might be heightened. Avoiding interactions with narcissists, especially when feeling vulnerable, is crucial to maintaining your emotional well-being. Cindy's comment underlines the destructive pattern of narcissists. They can go through multiple relationships, causing harm to both themselves and their partners. This doesn't reflect badly on the victims who may have had multiple marriages. Rather, it indicates the need for self-improvement and better judgment in choosing partners. Jacqueline's experience highlights the anxiety that narcissists often face, likely due to the shame of their actions. They're aware of their wrongdoings but their lack of empathy prevents them from feeling guilt or remorse for others. LB's story reiterates the unchanging nature of narcissists. Even after numerous failed relationships and despite advancing age, they continue their pattern of manipulation and deception. It's important to remember that they're unlikely to change for anyone. Knowing that a narcissist won't change can provide some solace. It's not your fault that the relationship failed. It's the narcissist's inability to form healthy relationships. They will continue their manipulative behaviors until the very end, showing no genuine remorse or desire to change. Now, let's move on to the new question of the day. This weekend, what will you do to change something within yourself? Please share your plans in the comments section. Your responses can provide inspiration and support for others in our community going through similar experiences. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. This community is here to help you heal and grow. Use this weekend to make positive changes in your life. Spend time with people who uplift you and help you move away from the painful memories of the narcissist. Remember, narcissists are merely empty shells. It's time to rewire your thoughts about them and focus on healing. Thank you for joining us today. We hope these insights have been helpful and that you'll continue to engage in this journey of understanding and healing from narcissistic abuse. Remember, you're not alone and together, we can navigate these challenges. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. Until next time, stay strong, be kind to yourself, and take one step at a time towards healing.